Good afternoon and welcome to today's event. In preparation for our conference, we kindly ask that you take a moment to silence any electronic devices. Thank you so much.
Good afternoon and welcome. Once again, before we can begin our program, please take a moment and make sure that your electronic devices, your cell phone, your iPhone, watch, anything that might make a noise, please make sure that that has been silenced. Thank you so much. We will begin momentarily. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome today's host, Fox 5 sportscaster, Samantha Rivera. What is going on, everybody? As you just heard, my name is Samantha Rivera. I'm the sports reporter with Fox 5 San Diego. And we are so excited to have you all here today celebrating San Diego's newest women's soccer team, the San Diego Wave FC. Now, it's obviously been a very exciting week for this franchise today. We are going to have some very special Wave FC announcements, and we'll hear directly from the Wave FC executives, players, and coaches. Now, personally, it's been pretty hard to not fangirl when you hear all these big names coming to the team. You got Alex Morgan, Abby Delkember, Jill Ellis. You know, they're not just big names in women's soccer or women's sports, but in sports in general. So to say that I'm excited to cover this team this upcoming season is a complete understatement. Now, we have a few housekeeping notes before we get things started. This event is being live streamed, so we just ask that you please not block the cameras in the background if you do have to get up at any point during this event. Now, without further ado, I'd like to introduce the legend, the queen, Wave FC's president, Jill Ellis. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Well, Samantha, thank you so much for the kind words of support for our club. It is a very exciting day and obviously delighted and honored to be here. And, you know, I'd like to give a big hello to everybody at home watching on the audience on the live stream. We know our fans are, ha are going to have a big reach. So hello to everybody at home. And I also would like to take a few moments to acknowledge and welcome some key people who have joined us here today on this very special celebration of the official arrival of our team in San Diego. Diego. City, City Council, Council member, member Raul, Raul Campillo, Campillo, thank you so much for coming. And to San Diego State Athletic Director, John David Wickers, we truly appreciate <laughs> your support and your commitment to our club. Spe special welcome to the business leaders and the community supporters in attendance today. And a thank you to Bill McGillis and his team for working diligently with us to get our, our club launched. And by no means, uh, the thank yous would not be complete without a special shout out to our first 20 season ticket holders up there. Welcome. And uh, we know you will build an army and uh, we are truly excited to have the fans grow and come and support our special team. And then finally, I want to thank the media for being here. Um, we're joyful that you're helping us spread the word, getting the name out, and uh, obviously getting the word out how great this franchise, this club, intends to be. And um, I, we have a full morning ahead of us, and I want to quickly acknowledge our internal team who have worked very hard to bring this club to life. To Ron Burkle and Matt Alvarez, thank you for your commitment to this vision. From our earliest conversations, we shared a belief in this sport, but more importantly, the players who proudly play it. You supported women leading women and pushed the league to have the incredible city of San Diego serve as the home to the newest expansion club. To, to all, all our staff, staff that are here, here today, today and the amazing players that we proudly have signed, you are the difference. We will stand tall as an organization and as a team because of the values, the talent, and the worth ethic we share. Thank you for the sense of adventure to join the wave. I want to take a second and I want to introduce a, a remarkable young lady who I met in the early days of being here in San Diego. And it was critical to me and I said to the people that organized, this young woman needs to be here because this is what it's truly about. Meeting Melanie reinforced to me why this endeavor was so important. Why, the, why Wave FC stands not simply as a football club, but as a platform for those who dare to dream. Please help me welcome our special guest, Melanie Barcenas. Hello, my name is Melanie Barcenas and I'm a youth soccer player born and raised here in San Diego. I would like to be, I'm really excited and honored to be a part of this special day and I'm really excited for that. I would like to thank Jill and San Diego Wave Football Club for inviting me here today. I, I, met, met, I, had, I had the pleasure, pleasure of meeting Jill, Jill Ellis, world champion at one of my soccer tournaments. I was lucky to meet with Jill and talk about my up and coming soccer journey and the excitement she's building with Wave FC. Being from San Diego, I always looked forward to when national team players like Alex Morgan and Abby Delkemper would get to play here. Now I get to cheer for them locally. 
I think it's really awesome to see opportunities for girls my age and generations after to have an opportunity to represent their own hometown team. Alex and Abby are great role models and inspire so many girls my age and after, and I look up to them for that very reason. They are strong and fierce women that have already accomplished so many great things, and that is why I look up to them. That has helped women's soccer grow and change for the better. I am super excited and cannot wait for this amazing season to kick off and to be able to cheer for my own local team. I even hope to represent SD Wave FC one day. Thank you. Melanie, thank you so much for that. Um, you are such an inspiration, and I have no doubt that we will be hearing from you and, and all the big things that you continue to do in soccer and beyond. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so, yeah, it, it is obviously very... career. So, uh, Samantha, thank you for the introduction and to Wave FC and all involved, uh, Jill Ellis, uh, Vanessa Shea, Matt Alvarez, thank you for the opportunity to participate today. Uh, what an exciting day for San Diego uh, to welcome the best soccer in the world to our community. On behalf of San Diego State University and all of our partners at Snapdragon Stadium, we'd like to formally welcome Wave FC to the city of San Diego and this incredible community. I am proud to share SDSU's new Snapdragon Stadium will be the permanent home for Wave FC. And as we fulfill our promise to the... And as we continue to fulfill our promise to the community of San Diego that we're creating a venue for all to enjoy. Opening September 2022, the state-of-the-art Snapdragon Stadium will provide an unparalleled soccer experience in San Diego for fans and players alike. From our local food partners to unique viewing options like the Saquon Piers to a seating bowl that will provide a best-in-class viewing experience, we will create the best home field advantage in the NWSL. <laughs> Welcome to Snapdragon Stadium, San Diego Wave FC. We are so pumped to be there, I'm telling you. That was a long time coming, but we are absolutely thrilled. So thank you, John David. Thank you, San Diego State University. Um, it is gonna be an amazing home. Uh, Snapdragon, I have to get used to saying that very quickly, um, but as long as I have my GPS, I'll be good. Um, it will be a treat for fans, for everyone, everyone to, to come, come there, and surely, I do believe, it will be the best viewing experience for the fans in the NWSL. And I don't think there's gonna be a better facility in our league than Snapdragon Stadium. There you go. Well, what do you think? All right. Over the last few months, I've spent some time uh, obviously getting to know the city, uh, the people, taking in the beautiful coastline. And my wife and my daughter here feel very welcomed, and we cannot wait to cheer on the wave next March. It's going to be a very unique seat for me. I will be sitting next to my wife watching sport, which, for those of you who know her, she's very intense. And uh, I will need Alex's parents to probably corral her. But... Um, Cannot wait to be in that stadium watching the players on the pitch. Soccer football is everywhere in this city, and the rich tradition and history of soccer is why I truly believe this town will fall in love with our team. We've made a long-term commitment to this club and to the city of San Diego. Caring for our players and our fans will be at the forefront of our mission, and together we'll build upon the region's great soccer history. We will build relationships with all the local clubs and continue to push the league forward to be a catalyst for the continued growth and improvement of women's soccer. From the onset, we spent time speaking with community leaders and the people of San Diego to determine our club name, San Diego Wave Football Club. The name takes inspiration from the city's pristine and powerful coastline, and we have every intention of being a bold force in today's professional sports landscape. Today, we excitingly take our next step in the evolution of Wave FC, 
with the reveal of our crest and colors. So without more further ado from me, let's have a look. All right. You hear it calling, growing under the surface. And when the wave rises, it forms a crest. A shield symbolizing strength for our city to stand behind. A horizon to honor where we have been and where we are going. And colors, the colors of a sky as vibrant and proud as our culture. The colors of the sand we play in and the common ground we share. Colors that showcase the beauty of our Pacific Ocean and harness the power of the wave. San Diego, our crest has risen. Our time to stand together is now. The wave is calling. Um, wow, I'm, I'm really emotional. That's, uh, that too has been a long time coming, but uh, we are so, so, so incredibly proud and thrilled of this. It's such a representation of, of the vibrancy and the boldness of our club and what we're going to stand for. Uh, we are confident that fans near and far will enjoy wearing our crusting colors, cheering on our, our players, but proudly resent, representing San Diego. Um, I now have the great honor of introduce, introducing someone who is very, very special to this club, uh, who will be at the forefront of this club, our leader, Casey Stoney. Casey uh, was the head coach, a former phenomenal national team player in England, an amazing human being, gotten to know her. We've had a lot of laughs. This is going to be a great journey. But I've seen her work with players. Um, I hear her vision. You know, one of the things she said to me when I was talking to her about this opportunity was, I want a club that can match my ambition. I said, well, then you've come to the right place because we're going to do this. So uh, without further ado, Casey Stoney. Thank you, Jill. Um, I will try and speak as slow as possible because Jill says I speak too fast and my accent is very different. So I will try and slow down and I hope, Melanie, I can speak half as good as you have today. Incredible at such a young age. So well done. Huge round of applause. Thank you to everybody in attendance and those joining us um, live on stream. It is an absolute privilege to stand here as the head coach of this team. Um, I'm not a San Diego native, as you can hear. Um, but I couldn't be happier with my introduction to this city and to you guys and to this club. Um, just driving in today, coming into this view was a huge wow for me because being from Manchester, well, I'm not from Manchester, I'm from London, but coaching in Manchester 24-7, you basically had to have an umbrella. So it's a, it's a privilege to be here. Um, I'm massively excited to consider myself a member of the San Diego community. Um, hopefully soon my family will join me and experience this incredible place and our lives will change forever. I'm very privileged to be the first ever head coach of this team and take this team on a journey that I think is extremely exciting. Um, because I grew up in a country and a culture that told girls you shouldn't play, couldn't play, with very little opportunities. I was told it was a man's game and that we shouldn't be playing. We were banned from using pitches and facilities and where you had to fight so hard just to play the game that you loved. I feel extremely privileged to now be part of a culture here in San Diego that Soccer isn't just a game, it's part of life. It's part of your community. Where girls are not only encouraged to play the game, but they are also given the platform to thrive and to perform. For me as a head coach, I take a huge responsibility now to give that platform to these amazing women, to inspire young girls to play the game that we love, and to make sure that we put on a performance that our fans can be proud of, can be excited by, and want to keep coming back. San Diego is an incredible place. We are on a journey. We are going to build a very exciting team. We will be, hopefully be announcing more players very soon that will excite you. The reason I took this opportunity, I spoke to Jill um, after I resigned for Manchester United and she explained the vision and she's bang on right there because I wanted a club that could match my ambition. And for me, the investment the conversations we've had with Matt and Ron, the way we are going to build not only a team, but the resources and the facilities that these players deserve, where we compete, where we can get ourselves into a successful position, and we can give the next generation something really exciting to look forward to. I want to build a team that everybody can be proud of, 
a team that players can be proud of in an environment where they can thrive, where they can have fun, they can feel safe, where player welfare is at the very, very heart of everything that we do. We want to play an attacking game with really strong foundations. It's apt that these two are in the room based on that. We've made some incredible sign-ins. I feel really privileged as a head coach to lead these incredible women on the next steps of their journey. We will have incredibly high standards. You know, I, I think I've, I've got a boss who's got incredibly high standards, so <laughs> I'm looking forward to making sure that I match them and raise them, and we are the very best that the NWSL can possibly be. And we also want to make sure that everybody else comes with us, because we want to raise the standards in this league. We want to make sure that we are the very best, and we will push people to get there. In terms of building a team, it's very different over here than it is in England. Lots of different rules and lots of different nuances. I think we will have the very best available to us. We will train in a way that we can be competitive from the off. That is our ambition, is that we are in those playoffs come the end of the season, and we will try and do that our very best. As you've seen, we've signed some really exciting players. I think it was apt that Abby was our first sign, and me being a centre-back for many years. Um, I like to build my team on my foundation so that my attacking players can have the freedom to go and play. Abby's an incredible human being. We've had coffee already, which was nice. <laughs> World-class centre-back, absolute winner. We bring her into this environment to bring that winning mentality, ability to play on the ball, and the way we want to play, she's going to set the standards in that way. We also signed Kaylin Sheridan, who I believe is probably one of the best goalkeepers in the world. And we're going to push her to go and be that Canadian number one. And we're going to make sure that we get the very, very best out of her. Unbelievable feet. We'll really play the way we want to. We want to be a team that can possess the ball, but can score goals. You know, and even the goalkeeper can be able to do that. Kelsey Turnbow is a player I watched back in May. Young, talented. I want to bring young players and develop them too. We've got a real good mix of young and, and experienced players in our team. She's an incredible talent who's going to, I think, do very well here. Tegan McGrady was a, a key signing for us in terms of making sure that we've got people that can defend and go forward in fallback areas. So she was a huge signing for us. And Mackenzie Doniak, she's got great league experience. She will score goals. She's going to be a great member of our team. I'm excited to work with her. And Alex, obviously Alex has signed this year. She's a, a great player. I'm going to come back to you because I've missed one. This is where I go wrong. Katie Johnson, another player who's you know proven winner, can come into our team, can adapt into different positions, and can score goals. And Alex, so obviously, it's an exciting. It was an exciting day the other day when we announced Alex. For me, Alex brings a winning mentality, the ability to score goals at the very highest level. And I'm excited to work with you. What we can achieve as a team, what we can achieve as a franchise, I think it's like exciting times to come. Uh, we are now going to do our Q&A session, and we are going to introduce first um, Alex Morgan to the stage. Oh, just kidding. Abby Delkemper. <laughs> I'm so sorry. She's coming up first. You can both just come on up. Where am I? It's, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Am I just waiting for Yeah, him? yeah. And now Alex. Oh, okay. <laughs> so there we go. All right. Much better.
guys have a lot of fans. Right? Yeah. <laughs> no, they know it's crazy. A lot they of all people. came to see you guys. So, uh, one question that I know you guys have been asked a lot: Why San Diego? Why did you guys choose to come here? Well, it's the best place in the world to live. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just look out there. That's yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, it's an ambitious club, like Casey and Jill both said. Uh, it's uh, a city that is rich in the history of soccer, um, and a city that I really have always wanted to live in, um, raise a family in, and, um, and being from California, I'm just really excited to be back. Yeah, yeah no, I am from the Bay Area, so up north, but um, have a little bit, <laughs> yay! <laughs> I um, have a little bit of experience being uh, at UCLA for four years, yeah. um, so that was really exciting, but um, yeah, I mean, I think just the ambition of the club, um, the way they want to do things, um, the support um, from the fans already here, um, everyone involved, I think it's just going to be incredible, and I think just like Casey said, um, pushing that standard, and, and I want to be a part of that, and I think it's so exciting for Alex and I to, to be, um, you know, the first couple of players signed and, um, you know, really push the standard of this league. And the support already is incredible, so we're just really excited. Yeah, absolutely. And so you guys are both obviously reuniting with Jill. You get to play for Coach uh, Co uh, Casey Stoney now. And can you guys just talk a little bit about what expectations you have, you know, coming into a new club uh, in a system, even though there are some familiar faces? Yeah, I mean, I think... Uh, like Coach said, uh, she said it really well, <laughs> but um, just pushing that standard and creating this culture of, you know, doing things well in the right way, but also um, getting results. Uh, you know, every game in this league is, is a tough game, um, and every team, you know, on the day can win. So I think just the excitement of that and um, the vision of this club um, is really exciting, and I'm just really looking forward to, like, getting started and meeting everyone and <laughs> having like a field to play on. So yeah. yeah. And I, just having been played or having played under Jill for, I don't know, maybe many years, six, <laughs> but also, you know, having Jill be at the forefront of women's football in the US, um, it's incredible to have her leadership here as well um, and to see just how ambitious she is in wanting to push forward women's soccer, women's football in the US. Um, it's always great to, to see that and have someone like that on your side. And so to have her guiding this club, um, I know that the expectations are going to be high, and it's not only on the field, but off the field too. Um, we want to raise the standard uh, in the NWSL. We want to continue to raise the bar, and I know that this is the club to do it. Yeah, absolutely. So the NWSL has, you know, been, has never been more competitive than it is right now, as we saw in this year's playoffs. What are your expectations as an expansion club heading into this 2022 season? I think we want to win a championship. Yeah. <laughs> that would be fun. Easy. Done. <laughs> We're done. Yeah. yeah. Um, at, you know, obviously you know that there's going to be growing pains as there is with every expansion team, but um, I'd say we're off to a pretty good start <laughs> of players that uh, Casey and Jill and this club have signed, yeah. um, almost in all of the lines, uh, but definitely in our defensive line and... Um, line. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so I think we're off to a really good start to do what we've kind of set our minds to. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think just echoing uh, Alex there, I think, you know, obviously uh, we have a goal scorer, um, proven, you know, um, Olympic and world champion, um, Jill and Casey, um, you know, leading the way and kind of everyone um, who's already joined this team um, just speaks, you know, volumes to the, the type of character um, of the players that they're signing and, and the people that are, you know, surrounding us and supporting us. And, um, you know, like Alex said, I think um, developing this winning mentality from the start and building a really strong foundation um, of culture and, you know, kind of up, upholding those standards um, and, you know, holding everyone accountable. That's the players and everyone around us, too. So, um, again, yeah, we're just really excited. And I think it's, like, so awesome that there's already fans, like, in the back. <laughs> yeah. Like, what the heck? Um, so, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, excited. Amazing. <laughs> yes. Now, before I let you ladies go, um, Abby, I know that you already have a place here 
Alex, um, your husband is from here, so you're you're pretty familiar with it. But um, do you know of any you know favorite spots like restaurants or anything to uh, to go to yet? Or a couple. <laughs> um, I'm not going to share all my secrets yeah. right now. Yeah. You guys are going to be showing up there tomorrow. No, but <laughs> one favorite coffee shop is Panikin. Um, that's definitely a go-to for us when we're in the area, which now it'll be just be a go-to every day. Um, and then my husband would probably kill me if I didn't say that. He literally grew up surfing right here yeah. at Scripps. So this is not a restaurant, but it's like a favorite area for him. And so I'm excited to just like learn the area more than I ever have before. Yeah. And Abby, have you found anything yet? No. Honestly, no. I know that's like so <laughs> lame, but friend. like I heard Bump was cool, Bump Coffee. I don't know where that is, but. Just stick to Panikin. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm just going to okay. go there. So it's good. It's good. Well, thank you ladies so much for taking the time to talk to us. And um, yeah, Abby Delkemper and Alex Morgan, everybody. Okay, so once again, we just want to thank everybody for being here today and watching us uh, live stream, via live stream. Um, and as we mentioned previously, official uh, Wave FC merchandise and season ticket deposits are now available exclusively on San Diego WaveFC.com. And for those of you in attendance, we invite you to enjoy the beautiful view, as Abby <laughs> mentioned, um, on the patio for a reception. And uh, the media, um, we thank you guys um, as well for attending and um, you guys can gather on the stage, yeah, on the stage for media, photos, and uh, video opportunities. So for any more information, you guys can head over to SanDiegoWaveFC.com. Thanks so much, everybody.